Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Quick check here on the temps from today. It was a cool one. We had a breeze. We had sunshine, though. Upper 50s, Monterey, mid 60s, Santa Cruz. Generally a little warmer in Santa Cruz with a northwest wind. And middle 60s for all the uh, warm spots, at least for the inland valley. So not much of a range, and you wouldn't expect one after a cold front and a lot of breeze today. Upper 50s to middle 50s at the coast. Still got a 70, though, in Santa Barbara. And guess what? Down sloping winds. If you've been to Santa Barbara, they got the hills right behind town. And the winds come down and warm up. 41 in Lake Tahoe. A chilly day there after the snow from about 24 hours ago. Put down about a foot. In some cases, maybe about 20 inches. So pretty nice. A little dump up there. 9 degrees warmer, though, up in the Sierra today. And in fact, you can see pluses in front of all the numbers. If they were... On the other side of the coin, you see minuses there. So a big difference from yesterday where everybody was colder. Today, everybody was warmer, and we expected that. There's a nice dividing line here in the center of the country. Look at that, 81 in Oklahoma City, only 40s mostly up to the north, 35 in Detroit right now, 41. It's ugly up in New England still. I only say that because they're getting ready for winter to end, but it just won't quit. Snow still going, parts of New York and upstate uh, Vermont, uh, all the way into New England, up into Maine. They're uh, picking up more snow, temperature like 17 degrees up in the mountains now there. So very, very cold. And rain turning over some snow. Uh, Rapid City, Billings, very chilly. So again, winter still got a stranglehold on at least about half the country right now. And uh, those folks are still waiting for spring. We're mostly clear today. High clouds are starting to make their way in, and that's all part of a system that's offshore. And it's going to be a tricky one. It's actually very, very small. This is a pretty weak system. But it's expected to pass right overhead. Most of the models do bring it kind of right on top of us. For tonight, just uh, some clouds moving through. And tomorrow morning, we start off with partly cloudy skies. We go mostly cloudy, though, through the afternoon. And then the rain's knocking on the door. Right about 7, 8 o'clock, we'll be watching. Now, some of the models have been holding a lot of this off the coast. So we're going to watch to see if that trend continues. If it does, we may only get showers right along the coastal areas and maybe nothing inland. But as it stands right now, it looks like everybody has the chance for showers as this rotates in. Again, it's a small system. So if this just pushes off the coast a little further, we're not going to get much from it. But right now, again, it does seem to take a track right over us. That's good enough for showers tomorrow night. Be ending, though, by Thursday morning, 8 o'clock, you're already back to uh, dry skies. So most of the commute tomorrow night and probably Thursday morning will be dry. So that'll be good timing on that to get some rain. And then by tomorrow afternoon, uh, Thursday afternoon, I should say, we're back to a mix of sun and clouds. And we're still cool, though, because with another front moving through, we're not going to have a chance to warm up. Here's your rain totals, and it's not going to be much. We're looking at maybe a tenth of an inch. You can see some of these little areas off the coast or maybe down towards Big Sur. Maybe they could be upwards of quarter to a half an inch, but that's if they get the heavier showers because that's the way this one looks. It'll be more showery than anything else. There will be the chance of a thunderstorm, maybe a little hail with that. Mostly clear, high clouds, 39 to 46, light winds overnight tonight. So we'll bottom you out right in the upper 30s, places like Hollister, Soledad at 40, 39, Carmel Valley. So it's another cold night, but not as cold with some clouds coming over. And then tomorrow will be about the same as today, but more clouds. And then that's leading to evening showers, as I said, 7, 8 o'clock, 57 to 66. And we'll do the rain showers overnight tomorrow night. Tomorrow afternoon, though, middle 60s to upper 50s. You know, most of us right in that low 60s range. 63 Carmel Valley, 63 Salinas, 62 Watsonville, 63 Santa Cruz, 66 in Hollister. And as we head towards the weekend, we start warming up. So Thursday and Friday are warmer, mid 60s to middle 70s. Oh, look we at got, that. Yeah, we got a shot at maybe getting 80 somewhere on Saturday. And then we'll hold that. So we're going to go into a dry period here with overnight lows in the 40s and low 50s. So we'll get rid of the 30s. And it looks like in terms of rain, we're probably done after this.